In the spirit of offending everyone possible, here I go again. It's every time abortion comes up, you know, abortion religion, and uh, we got two of those. Hi, it's Joel, this is Story Pipe by Mark Sherman for Forbes.com. The Supreme Court upheld the nationwide ban on a controversial abortion procedure Wednesday, having abortion opponents the long await handing abortion opponents the long awaited victory they expected from a more conservative bench. The 5 to 4 ruling said the Partial Birth Abortion Act that Congress passed and President Bush signed into law in 2003 does not violate a woman's constitutional right to an abortion. The opponents of the act have not demonstrated that the act would be unconstitutional in a large fraction of relevant cases, said Justice Anthony Kennedy, who wrote for the majority. I find it weird that it has to be unconstitutional in a large fraction of cases, not just unconstitutional. Just unconstitutional most of the time, apparently. It was the first time the court banned a specific procedure in a case over how, not whether, to perform an abortion. Abortion rights groups have said the procedure sometimes is the safest for a woman. They also said that a ruling could threaten most abortions after 12 weeks of pregnancy, although government lawyers and others who favor the ban said there are, all, there are alternate, more widely used procedures that remain legal. Ginsburg said the latest decision tolerates, indeed applauds, federal intervention to ban nationwide a procedure found necessary and proper in certain cases by the American Collegi College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. You know, the people who study things like female reproductive uh, systems. The procedure at issue involves partially removing the fetus intact from a woman's uterus, then crushing or cutting its skull to complete the abortion. Abortion opponents say the law will not reduce the number of abortions performed because an alternate method, dismembering the fetus in the uterus, is available and indeed much more common. So basically what they're saying, okay, part of the thing about this decision is that they found that it might cause irreparable harm to a woman. Utter stress, okay, and, and just uh, uh, emotional upheaval knowing that their baby was... Uh, their baby, their fetus was partially taken out, has head crushed, okay? That's the reasoning. And I don't really follow that because mm, you cut it, you know, through the head versus you dismember it inside the womb. That one's okay because somehow crushing its head is worse than dismembering it. I'm not, I'm not even going to say yay or nay on abortion in general, just like that logic seems to fail. That's like saying, if it were chicken, it's like saying, do I want the whole chicken or just like the legs? Okay? You're gonna kill the chicken. Bye.